Hey guys, what's happening? This is Ryan with Hit or Miss Aquariums, and this is my first YouTube video, but I thought it would be helpful because I tried to find a solution for this online, and I wasn't really coming up with anything uh, too informative. So I wanted to share what I believe is the correct solution. If it's not for some reason, or you know a better way to explain this, please in the comments below uh, let me know. But uh, I think that I've finally figured this out. And it's possible that it's just so easy that everybody could figure it out and that's why it wasn't online. But if that's not the case, then maybe this will help a few people out there that are like me, relatively new to reefing and looking for an answer. So this is uh, in regards to the Red Sea Coral Colors program, the ABCD4 pack, and basically the dosing guide for this. Um, and we're going to talk about, in relationship to calcium, there is also a uh, test kit that you can use to really nail down the specific doses. But I'm just looking for, how do I dose it in relationship to the amount of calcium that I'm putting into my tank? And I've seen various different things, and some of them were a little confusing. So, let's first look at the, uh, the questions that were asked. And it's probably going to be a little hard for you to see this, and for that I apologize. This is a question that uh, ultimately... Uh, helped me find my answer and it was found uh, again in the questions section of this particular product. Um, Frank the Tank on in May of 2017 asked this question, I'm using BRS 2 part in my 130 gallon system, would like to know how much of the Red Sea color should I use in my tank, how should I dose this product? And so this is going to be specific to the BRS 2 part uh, calcium solution and um, I'm going to go over uh, how, how we get to the ultimate figure of how much you're supposed to dose daily and or weekly, depending on what you prefer. Um, so, Zach, uh, the administrator for, or an administrator for BRS, replied, going by Red Sea simplified instructions, they recommend one millimeter, I'm sorry, one milliliter of each supplement per 25 gallons for every 20 parts per million of calcium your system consumes. So, when I read that, I, I think I needed to take a nap because my brain just exploded. And you may have felt the same way, but I think that I figured out a way to properly calculate that. So, let's break this down into, into a couple different parts. First, one milliliter of each supplement, so each of the A, B, C, and D, per 25 gallons. So, that's the first key. 25 gallons. How many... 25 gallon buckets are in your aquarium and so uh, like Frank here my aquarium the total water volume is about 130 gallons I can safely say that that's probably pretty close so what we're going to do is we're going to do 130 simple math here divided by 25 that comes up with 5.2 so there are 5.2 25 gallon buckets of water in my aquarium so I'm going to write that down 5.2, and we're going to save that for later. So the second part of this is, for every 20 parts per million of calcium that your system, system consumes. Okay, so the next part we need to do is figure out how many milliliters of calcium is 20 parts per million in my system. So the, the way that we do that is we go to the uh, bulk reef supply calculator. We're on the calcium calculator and we're going to put in our total sister w system water volume of 130 gallons. Our current calcium level is zero. Our desired calcium level is 20 parts per million. So how many, again, parts per million, how many milliliters of the calcium solution do I need to raise this from zero parts per million to 20 parts per million? And if we calculate it, we find that in order to do that, I need to put in 266.1 milliliters of calcium. Now, please do not stop the video here and go and put in that much calcium solution into your tank. You will crash your tank. This is just part of the equation, okay? So, the next part that we need is how many milliliters am I dosing? Well, on a daily basis right now, because I just have really frags in my tank, um, some LPS and SPS, I'm only dosing 50 milliliters a day. So, I'm only raising 
out of this equation, we want to do 50 milliliters and divide that by 266.1 milliliters, okay? And that's going to give us how many milliliters should I be dosing based on 25 gallons, okay? So let's go back to our trusty calculator. 50 milliliters, which is what I'm dosing, divided by 266.1, which is how many milliliters it takes for me to raise my calcium 20 parts per million and we come up with this number which is again how many milliliters do I need to put in per 25 gallons of my total system water volume uh, per day so this we're just gonna round this number up because it's a really long number to one I'm sorry point one eight eight okay so then, again, we go back to how many water buckets of 25 gallons are in my aquarium. And that's what we multiply this number by. So, again, rounding it up, 0.188. And we multiply that by the previous number that I got, 5.2. And that comes to 0.9776. Let's just round that up to one milliliter. So, each day, I need to put one milliliter of each one of the parts A, B, C, and D into my aquarium. Um, you can do this weekly. BRS recommends, and I believe that Red Sea recommends that you do this daily. Um, I don't I don't know that I'll be able to remember to do it every single day because I don't have dosing pumps set up for each one of these. So I'm probably just going to do it weekly. And so obviously then it would be 7 milliliters uh, a week per bottle. So I hope that made some sense to you um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below please like this video if it helped you out um, and please feel free to, to subscribe um, I, again this was my first video but I plan on doing more in the days and weeks to come